Good morning, my Daniel family. How are you doing this morning? Good. 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 Praise God. Yes. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we are exceedingly glad in it. Yes. I welcome you to our worship service this morning as we're recording live on live on Facebook and recording for YouTube this morning. So all our family members will be able to see this morning and this afternoon whenever they have time to view this message. But this morning we give all glory, honor to our King, our God, our Savior. He is the God of the universe. Yes, yes. He is the creator of all living things. Yes. And we give him glory, honor, and praise this morning. Amen. Amen. I welcome you this morning to our service here at Daniel Missionary Baptist Church here in Tuskegee, Alabama. My name is Reverend Keith Torba. I am the pastor of this wonderful church. We have a wonderful uh, congregation here. We all love one another. Amen. We're all family here. We may be small in numbers, but we make it up with the love of God that we have in our families. And we're one big family yes. that loves God. Yes. And we want to manifest his glory here in Macon County and Tuskegee and all around this world. Amen? Amen. So I greet you all in our name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, and our soon coming King. Today is April the 5th, 2020, mm -hmm. and the time is 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I thank you all so much for joining us this morning. Wherever you may be joining us on Facebook, uh, live, sitting at your home, uh, we're practicing social distance here. Just have a few members of here just practicing social distance. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to bless God this morning. Yes. And I just want to take the time to, um, to, to talk to our members, to encourage them. It's been over almost a month since that we've been together as a church family here at Daniel. And I know sometimes when we don't see each other, we may feel like we're alone, but we're not alone. No, we're not. We are here with one another mm -hmm. in spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I was praying this morning and the other night, the Lord said, sometimes I'll allow things to happen to get my glory Amen. to happen in the earth. We may not congregate together as a church body in the church, mm -hmm. but I tell you this, mm -hmm. the church is not defined by the building. No, it's not. No, it's God, he, Jesus said when the temple will be torn down, he wasn't talking about the physical building. Mm -hmm. And when it was built up, he was talking about his body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you right now by the spirit of God that we are the church. Yeah. Where two or three are gathered together in his name, he is in the midst of us. And we can have church wherever we go. Now I'm not talking about we should not uh, disassociate ourselves from one another and come into a building together. But when we can't come to the building, we do not let, allow that to limit us from being with our Savior. So our God, he is omnipresent. He's everywhere at all times. That's the kind of God we serve. This season of time did not catch God by surprise. But he just want his church, his body, his children to get into a place with him so he can strategically guide us and talk to us what to do during these times. That's all he wants. He wants us to love him regardless of the situation. He does love us, family. He loves us without a shadow of a doubt. Yes, yes. He paid that price. He died on the cross for us. Mm -hmm. Coronavirus was nailed to the cross over 2,000 years ago. Yes. It just has a name on it today. Mm -hmm. We're not going to magnify coronavirus. We do take it seriously. Mm -hmm. We do follow by the guidelines that are set by our federal and state governments. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to allow this to stop to, us to praise and worship our God. He's our king. Yes. And I tell you, please continue to, to love him. Regardless of what you're going through. Mm -hmm. God knew it. It didn't catch him by surprise. No. He's going to take care of his children during this hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's our provider. Mm -hmm. He's our king. Mm -hmm. He's our healer. Mm -hmm. He's our peace. Mm -hmm. He's our banner. Mm -hmm. He's everything. The Bible says that everything that we need pertain to life mm -hmm. is wrapped up in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And I just want to encourage you with that this morning. Mm -hmm. Because he is our king. Mm -hmm. And as we get ready to pray this morning, mm -hmm. I just want you to lift up your prayers unto God wherever you are. Mm -hmm. In your living room, in your bedroom, whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with. 
Know that God, he is the answer of prayers. He will answer your prayer. May not answer at the time that you think that ought to be answered, mm -hmm. but he will answer according to his will mm -hmm. for your life. Mm -hmm. Prayer is our prayer and worship time, our communication time with God. Mm -hmm. There's no formula to praying. Mm -hmm. Open up your mouth just like I'm talking right now mm -hmm. and worship your God. Yes. Talk to your God. Mm -hmm. He's listening. Mm -hmm. I love you all so much. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to the day that we can all congregate together again as one. Mm -hmm. But until that time comes, we're going to use technology. Mm -hmm. We're going to practice safe practicing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. And that's to teach, to yeah. preach, and manifest the glory of God in the earth. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us go to the Father in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for this Carl's time and moment, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We thank you for being our king, mm -hmm. our God, mm -hmm. our creator. Mm -hmm. You're our Jesus. Mm -hmm. You're our Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You're everything. Mm -hmm. You created all living things in the earth and beneath the earth and in the heavenlies. Mm -hmm. There's no other God like you. Mm -mm. There never has been and there never will be, O oh God. Amen. We thank you individually. And we thank you collectively as a church. Mm -hmm. Father, we just take this opportunity to confess and repent of our sins. And we ask you to forgive us and cleanse us with the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. from all unrighteousness, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Father, create in us a new heart. Mm -hmm. Renew a right spirit in us, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Give us the heart, mind, and soul, and spirit of Christ that we act like Christ. Mm -hmm. Think like Christ. And be like Christ. Mm -hmm. That we can manifest his glory during this time, oh God. Mm -hmm. Father, we ask you to baptize us in the Holy Ghost with fire, Lord. Mm -hmm. Fill us all over again with your precious Holy Spirit. That rivers of living waters will overflow of our bellies, oh God. Mm -hmm. Dress each and every one of us with the whole arm of you, oh God. Yeah. And seal that arm around us with the blood of Jesus. Yeah. That no weapon formed against us will prosper. Mm -hmm. Every tongue that rises against us in judgment will be condemned. Mm -hmm. Fall to the ground and not take... Root in our hearts, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Catapult us out into your will, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Order our steps according to your word today, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Because you can. Mm -hmm. All power is in your hand. You hold the very span of this world in the palm of your hand, O oh God. Mm -hmm. There is nothing impossible for you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Father, we thank you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We ask you to heal our members wherever they are, O oh God. Whatever they're going through. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's listening, O oh God. The, you are the great balm in Gilead. Mm -hmm. You're the great physician. And when medicine can't heal us and science can't heal us, you are the healer. Mm -hmm. We thank you for it, oh God. Mm -hmm. Provide every need that we need according to your perfect will for our lives, oh God. Mm -hmm. You will not leave your children begging bread. Mm -hmm. You have already made provision for us, oh God, and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Father, we lift up our children all over this land. We ask you to continue to shape them and make them and mold them into the young men and women of God you called and created them to be, O oh God. We ask you to call them into a time of holiness and sanctification, O oh God, in Jesus' name. That they can be ready for your youth, O oh God, your use. That when no one else will stand for Jesus, they will, O oh God. We thank you for them. Let your anointing be in them and upon them to do your will here on earth as it is in heaven, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we stand in intercession for the church, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Your chosen people, O oh God. Mm -hmm. We admit that we have sinned against you, O oh God. Mm -hmm. We have done our own things, O oh God. We have led people astray, O oh God. Mm -hmm. But we repent mm -hmm. like Moses did mm -hmm. and Nehemiah when they stood before you on behalf of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. We do the same thing today, Lord God. Mm -hmm. And we ask you to forgive us back two, three, or four generations, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Wash us thoroughly with the blood of God. Mm -hmm. As we receive your forgiveness in Jesus' name. And we return back to Jesus, our first love. And we continue the first works of the church that you have called us to do, Lord God. Mm -hmm. That we'll be obedient unto you. Mm -hmm. Not unto a good idea or a good thought. But we are completely obedient unto you, Lord. Mm -hmm. We thank you for establishing your church today, Lord. We thank you for the leadership all over this world. You told us we ought to pray for our leadership, oh God. Mm -hmm. 
We pray for them. We lift them up before you, Lord. We make mention of them before you, God. Mm -hmm. And we ask you to have your way with them. That your perfect will be done mm -hmm. here on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. We thank you that your government is being established in the earth, oh God. Mm -hmm. We thank you when people didn't care about you, they didn't want to have you anywhere. Now you're being brought back into the places where you've been ejected, oh God. And that's back into the very heart of your people, Lord. Father, allow us during this time that we have to spend time with us to grow in our families together, to love one another as Christ loves the church, Lord God. And we know that we have a common enemy, and his name is the devil. And his time is almost up, oh God. That's why he's trying to wreak havoc amongst this land, amongst your people, oh God. But we think that he's a defeated foe. And we thank you we're protected by the blood of Jesus. Continue to lead us. Continue to guide us wherever you need us to go, Lord. We thank you for this time. We thank you for the word of God that will be preached today, Lord. I decrease and ask you to increase in me. Mm -hmm. Rebuke all fear, anxiety, Lord God, nervousness, whatever it is. And I just pray that you would speak through me mm -hmm. the word of God that you would have us to preach today, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, we love you so much. Mm -hmm. Jesus, we love you so much. Holy Spirit, we love you so much. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and honor. In your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 God, you're so good. And we love you so much. And we thank you for being in the midst of us here at Daniel Missionary Baptist Church. In every church that is called by your name. This morning, if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Romans chapter 8, verse 35 through 39. Again, that's Romans chapter 8, verses 35 through 39. And while you're getting there, the title of today's message is What's Separating You from the Love of God? Let me say that one more time. What is separating you from the love of God? I'll be reading from the New King James Version. And the word of the Lord reads. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died. And furthermore, is also risen. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us? Who shall separate us? From the love of Christ shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or perilous of the sword. For your sake we are killed all the day long. Mm -hmm. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. It says, verse 38 says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, neither height, nor death, nor any other created thing, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Can we give God a good amen? Amen. amen. What's separating you from the love of God? Mm -hmm. We know that we're dealing with a lot going on with the coronavirus. Excuse me. All type of sickness, all type of disease, famine in the land, unemployment, whatever you may be going through, 
<clears throat> These are things that can separate you from the love of God if you allow it. Verse 35 says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Mm -hmm. He said, shall it be tribulations? What is tribulation? Tribulation is times of trouble. Things that stand in your way from continuing to have you to hear from God mm -hmm. and to see God mm -hmm. and to separate you from his love. The Bible tells us, tells us that Jesus said that we're going to go through trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. He already foretold us that. Yes, he, he told us that so we would prepare when they come. Mm -hmm. You know the messages that we preached last year mm -hmm. led us up to this point. Mm -hmm. We said that as long as there's money in the bank, mm -hmm. there's food in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. we're in good health, mm -hmm. everything is going well, mm -hmm. we're doing well. But what happens when the enemy is allowed to touch your bank account? Yes, yes. When there's not enough food in the house? Yes. When he's touched your body and sickness has come upon you? Mm -hmm. What do we do during those times? Do we fold up and take out our poker face and we go another way as the world does? No. We pray. Thank you, Mother Knowles. We pray. We stand upon God's word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He tells us in Psalms 46, 1 through 3, that God is our refuge mm -hmm. and strength mm -hmm. and ever-present help in trouble. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we will not fear through the earth. Give away, and the mountains will fall into the heart of the sea. Mm -hmm. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Proverbs 18 and 10 says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Mm -hmm. The righteous run into it mm -hmm. and are safe. Mm -hmm. The building can't protect us no. because the building is not the church. Amen. Only God's word mm -hmm. and his presence mm -hmm. can protect us during times of tribulation. Mm -hmm. Prayer is an open communication with our God. He is the one that we cry out to mm -hmm. when we're in trouble, mm -hmm. when we're in need. Mm -hmm. He wants us to cry out unto him. Mm -hmm. But we have to do it in faith. Yes. God is not moved by our fear, mm -hmm. but he is moved by our faith mm -hmm. and him to the, do the ability that we know he can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psalms 103 says, He will not leave his children begging bread. Mm -hmm. He will protect us during these times, mm -hmm. but we have to believe. Amen. Well, Pastor, how can you expect me to believe when, when uh, people are dying all around us, this, this sickness is all around us, and we mm -hmm. money can't pay us out of it, and our prestige can't get us out of it, and I don't care if I'm a president of a company, it cannot save us. But God can. Sure He's been doing that from the beginning of time. Coronavirus is nothing new. It's just a different name. Mm -hmm. And it's manifesting in a different way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's spreading like wildfire. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's time for us as the church, all the word that we've been hearing while we've been inside of the church for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, mm -hmm. it's time for us now to let that word be applied in our life. Mm -hmm. And we go out and start teaching and preaching the gospel and manifesting God's glory through his son, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible said that we are created in his image. Yes. His very thoughts are our thoughts. Yes. When we name the name of Christ, when we give our life to Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. it is no longer that we that live, but it's Christ Jesus that lives yes. through us. Yes. So it's no longer Keith's will that needs to be done. But it's Christ Jesus' will that needs to get th done through my body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what the tribulation is. Mm -hmm. We said tribulation is a cause of great trouble of suffering. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going through right now as a people. Mm -hmm. But we as Christians, God's children, we cannot buckle down. We cannot fall to our knees and allow this to cause us 
to crumble and to fall. Become hell or high water. We have to stand on our faith in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We have to know that God is going to protect us during this time. Over in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 it says, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. But pastor, how can the joy of the Lord be my strength? Because, he's Lord. because it is his joy, mm -hmm. his peace. Mm -hmm. He said, I leave this with you. Mm -hmm. See, that, that's foolish to the world, but it's wisdom to the men and women and boys and girls of our Christ Jesus, our Lord. Yes. Psalms 9, 10, um, Psalms 9, verse 10 says, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed mm -hmm. and a stronghold in the times of trouble. Mm -hmm. So we have to get that word on deep down in our heart mm -hmm. and allow God's word to manifest and become alive in our hearts. Mm -hmm. And if we don't believe, we have to be like the man that came up and said, I believe, but help my unbelief. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have to be real with God. We have to take off the mask. We have to say, God, I'm afraid. Yes. It's hard for me to trust you. No. I don't know if you're going to show up and save me. Mm -hmm. I need to do what I can for myself and my family. Mm -hmm. God can meet you at that place because now you're being honest with him. We can no longer wear a mask. Mm -mm. When I mean a mask, mm -hmm. being hypocritical, mm -hmm. saying we're doing one thing, but then we really do not believe it in our hearts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not being mean, I'm being for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just last summer, and I'm not ashamed to say this, I have to say this so you can so you can understand that I really understand that we as we as people are going through. Mm -hmm. Just last summer. My family and I, we went through probably one of the most worst financial drops we've ever been through. All right. God did not allow me to say anything to anybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, Keith, I need you to walk this out. Mm -hmm. And it was very hard. Yes. It brought me to tears. Mm -hmm. I had to trust God daily. Mm -hmm. I went to the store daily, sometimes three times a day, just to get with the needs that we needed in our house. Yes. Sometime at the last hour, my wife had came in and said, Keith, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know what we're going to do, but I trust God. Amen. It Amen. always showed up. God always showed up. We yeah. never missed a meal. Don't we were know. not evicted out of our homes. Don't we still know. had our meal. God supplied all of mm -hmm. our needs. That's right. Do it. it brought me to my knees. He said, Keith, I need you to go through this. Mm -hmm. Understand. I wanted to pick up the phone and call somebody and say I needed this, but he said, trust me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One time I went to Walmart, my car was declined, mm -hmm. but a faithful servant there in Walmart knew my dad mm -hmm. and she had been knowing me mm -hmm. and she was at work. Mm -hmm. She said, I got this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was very humbling to me. Yes. Yes. But God still supplied our needs. He gave us favor with people we didn't even know we had favor yes. with. Yes. He gave us favor with our beer collectors. I had to call and explain to them mm -hmm. what we were going through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they still gave us favor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He gave me favor on my job. Mm -hmm. okay. But the enemy was trying to use that to destroy me. Mm -hmm. To get me off focus. To get me off task. Mm -hmm. But thanks be to God, he didn't allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't know what we were going through on my wife and my children and a few others. Mm -hmm. But thanks be to God mm -hmm. when he always came through. Always and always will. He always will. He allowed my wife to get a job. Mm -hmm. Insurance and all this kind of thing that came upon us. Mm -hmm. And all to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you from what I know from my heart. Mm -hmm. When troubles come, mm -hmm. when time of hardship comes, mm -hmm. lay all your weight down at the Father's feet yes. and listen for his voice. Yes. Yes. He will direct your path. Mm -hmm. He will tell you where to go, mm -hmm. when to go, mm -hmm. and what to do. Mm -hmm. We have to be obedient to him as a church. Yes. Show him love. Show him love. And 
I want to add something to it, Pastor. Thank you, God. I want to add something to what you're saying now. I was talking to God about a problem, and he says to me, he says, uh, it was about money. And I said, he said, I said, if I had a, he said, if you had a one, a lump sum, what would you, would you have in the night? I told him, I doubt it. He said, well, I'm going to give it to you in bits and pieces. So when you need it, you're going to have it. Hallelujah. I know what you're talking about. Glory to God. I know God. That's one man I know, and he was children trusting. That's Thank you, God. Do. That's all it's going to do. That's our God. That is our King. The Bible says, mm -hmm. as it is written, verse 36 says, for your sake we are killed all day long. Mm -hmm. We as Christians are on the chopping block. Mm -hmm. We not, may not be physically killed, mm -hmm. but the world is coming against us. Oh, yeah. The world is coming against anybody that names the name of Christ. Yeah. Jesus told his disciples, if they hated me, mm -hmm. they're going to hate you. But they don't hate you. They hate you because you're serving me. Amen. Because you're naming my name. Yeah. And if we name the name of Christ, yeah. we're uh, attacked from the enemy. We have a mark on our back. But we have to know that God is a deliverer yes, is. of those that serve him. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we are accounted as sheep mm -hmm. for the slaughter. Mm -hmm. But listen at verse 37. It says, Yet in all things, mm -hmm. we are more than conquerors mm -hmm. through him who loves us. Yeah. Yeah. And who is he that we're talking about but Jesus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Jesus went through the same thing that we went through, mm -hmm. he, he led the pathway. He led the way for us to go through it. Yeah. He left the example. Yeah. If he went through it, yeah. his, his disciples went through it, mm -hmm. then we can go through it. Paul said, I learned to live with and I learned to live without. All right. And we have to be the same way as children of the living God. Mm -hmm. We have to know how to live with mm -hmm. and without. Mm -hmm. But one thing we're never going to leave without is his word. Mm -hmm. Jesus told his disciple, I have meat that you know not of. Mm -hmm. And that is to do the will of the Father. Yeah. And that we should have the same attitude mm -hmm. that we're not going to be stopped Regardless of what's going on in our lives, what regardless of what tribulation, what perilous, nakedness, or sword come against us, persecution, then we're going to get the Father's will done here on earth mm -hmm. as it is in our life. And we're going to know that we are more than conquerors mm -hmm. through him who loved us. Mm -hmm. He says, for I am persuaded mm -hmm. that neither death, mm -hmm. nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, mm -hmm. nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. For neither height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, mm -hmm. which is Christ Jesus our Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the life of Jesus, and I'm getting ready to close. When Jesus came down to this earth, mm -hmm. he was God in the flesh. Mm -hmm. The Bible said that he grew in wisdom. Mm -hmm. He grew in the wisdom of his father. He stayed before God. Mm -hmm. He was in places by himself. He was, it's, the Bible said that he was in temples. He was in the, uh, in the midst of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, but he grew in wisdom. Mm -hmm. He grew in the power of God. And when the heavens were open up and the spirit of God came on Jesus like a dove, mm -hmm. God said, this is my son mm -hmm. and whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. And the spirit of God led Jesus out into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. For 40 days he fasted, mm -hmm. didn't eat or drink anything. Mm -hmm. He was hungry, but God kept him. God will keep us during this time. Yes, he Jesus was going and growing in strength. But when he came out of that wilderness period, he came out in power. Mm -hmm. Could nothing stop him. Mm -hmm. oh. It was not by his own strength. Mm -hmm. It was by the strength of the father that sent him. Mm -hmm. And we as God's children need to know that we cannot do anything in our own strength. Mm -hmm. 
but we can only do it through the strength of our Father that created us. Regardless of what Jesus went through, regardless of what judgment hall he went through, regardless of what lies were told on him, he still did not abort the Father's will for his life. The Bible says over in Isaiah that Jesus, when they beat him, they said he was marred. Mm -hmm. The word marred means he was beaten beyond recognition. Mm -hmm. His face was just like meat. They couldn't even recognize who he was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he still did not abort his mission that God had set him on. Mm -hmm. Even when he knew that he was about to die, mm -hmm. he still did not abort that mission. He knew that it was already prophesied that he was going to die on a cross. Mm -hmm. He was going to be lifted up and stretched wide. Mm -hmm. And we know next week we'll be celebrating the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you knew that you were about to die mm -hmm. or be executed. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Mm -hmm. We would have to do what Jesus did. And that's to keep our eyes stay focused on God. Mm -hmm. To know the will of God for your life mm -hmm. so you will not abort the mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how hot the fire gets, regardless of how high coronavirus gets, mm -hmm. we cannot abort the mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We cannot be separated from God's love. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what the enemy wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He tried in the garden of the sin with Jesus. When that weight came down on him, mm -hmm. that flesh cried out. He didn't want to go through it, but the Spirit of God rose up in Jesus and said, Not my will be done, mm -hmm. but your will be done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was put up on that cross. Yeah. He was nailed to that cross. Yeah. Yeah. He still could have came down. Yes, he could have called legions of angels to come down and destroy all his enemies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Because he loved his father. Yeah. He loved us so much. Yeah. He knew he couldn't abort the mission. Mm -hmm. He could not be separated from the love of God. Amen. He could not even unto death. When he was buried in that tomb. He still was not separated from the love of God. Amen. He knew that God had promised him. That on that third day. He would raise him up from the dead. Mm -hmm. And God kept his promise. Mm -hmm. So Jesus was raised up on that third day with all power in his hands to destroy the works of the devil and to bring us back unto our father mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and present himself as a risen king on our behalf. Yeah. He paid the price that we could never pay. He paid and wrote the check that we didn't have enough to pay for. He did it for you and for I. He did it so we can live life and life abundantly. See, Jesus right now is sitting at the right hand side of the Father making intercession on our behalf. He loves us just that much. He knows what we're going through. He's already been through it. He just does not want us to be separated from the love of God. If you're out there and you're separated from the love of God because you never received Christ as your Savior. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart the Lord Jesus, he will save you. That's a promise. You can take that check and cash it because it's already been paid for. It won't bounce. He's already paid the price. If you're separated from God, the Bible says if you cry unto him, he will save you. I don't care where you are. You may be at home somewhere drunk. You may be high. God can deliver you wherever you are. Call upon his name and he will save you. He promised he would save you. And every promise that I read through this Bible, God will meet you at your need. You're not alone. And if you're out there and you feel that you once knew God and you walked away from him, he has you too. The Bible says if you confess and repent of your sins, 
He is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Return back unto the Father. And return back unto the first words. Jesus paid the price that you can live and live life abundantly. He knew that the four walls of this building could not contain us. So I know he allowed all this to happen. I didn't say he caused it. But he's working through it. That we can come outside of these four walls. And we can teach the gospel. We can preach the gospel. And we can manifest his glory in the earth. That's why he created us. To name the name of Christ. And to live according to his will. See some people that you see on your jobs. And I'm done. They may never step foot in a church, mm -hmm. but you are the church. Amen. They're living a pistol of who God is, the very nature. You can manifest God's nature on your jobs, in the marketplace, wherever you go. Amen. Never be separated by the love of God. Amen. Never be separated from his love, regardless of what trial, what tribulation, what perilous time you're going through. Never be separated by the love of God. Amen. Amen. Let's give God glory and praise. Yeah. Hallelujah to his name. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.